uh, let's see what the community offers us. I actually uh, checked up on the ladder and uh, my god is it uh, brutal. Uh, the current highest uh, placement for combat power is 45k. <laughs> And uh, of course, uh, Endozoa being uh, one of the top leaders. It would be nice to be up there as well, but there is no guarantee. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this start? Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go Rhino Specialist. Hopefully this works out. Well, yeah, today hopefully we gain like about a 1k combat power. My MMR is still quite low. I can't do much about it because uh, it got completely shrecked uh, a, few, uh, a few days ago when uh, we tried a bunch of meme strategies and none of them actually worked. Hey, that's, that's just the game. Can't complain about that too much. Against some Mustangs, though, we have a bit of an issue. Uh, let's see, I'll put this right here. And these on the outer edge. Okay, this should be not good enough. Hopefully, the Arc Lights can connect with the Mustangs at the end of the game. Or sorry, the round. But that's probably not happening. Next us we're gonna clean out the arc lights quickly enough at least. Let's see. So one arc light survives, two arc lights survive. Perfect, okay. This actually worked out. So what are we playing against exactly? Quick supply. Well, hopefully our opponent is a bit more civil, doesn't go full Mustang immediately out the gate because that will be very painful to deal with. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna hold our resources, not to anything special hopefully this is good enough for at least a bit this is gonna distract the enemy sniper for a while actually yeah let's do it like this for now or the alternative is that we do it like this. Yeah, like this. This sniper should be a little bit less effective now that the arc light isn't immediately getting destroyed. The arc light is gonna get a little bit more value perhaps. Eh, yeah. not happening. But that's to be expected. The funny thing is that the shield stays, which is the important part. Alright, so we have barrier, perfect. I would love extended phoenix range. Oh, smoke bomb, not, not the time for it. Barrier is what we always want. Extended Phoenix range is very nice, but not necessary. All right. So, we actually want to be doing something like this. Um, yeah. This goes here with this. 
we need one unit of crawlers over here and next turn we can fully transition yeah they should be nice uh in the meantime you're gonna do this just to s stop the bleeding a little bit had a smart idea of going uh, Fortress, which we're probably gonna get wrecked by at the moment. What is our opponent? He took the shield specialist, which is brutal. Definitely need more Phoenix and more firepower with the Phoenixes. But this is actually a very strange case where uh, we can't really just invest into phoenixes too heavily. That's too much stats too quickly. Our opponent knows that. Okay, and range by 20. Okay, so one melting point actually makes sense here. Top supply specialist gonna be something my opponent probably picks up. I don't think I can afford a temple loss of supply specialist. Yeah, I need to take this so that I can just put down a melting point roughly here. Yeah, so that it actually begins to connect with the um, with the fortress this turn this gets sold we need to overload get this and then an additional shield here roughly uh, no, we don't think we can afford that. So we go probably tank and one missile turret here to help out with this inventory here. So what did my opponent pick up? Yeah, top supply specialist as expected. I can't really afford stop supply specialist currently as much as I would love to do that. But improved melting point is gonna be the call here, just because it's too good tempo wise. At the moment, we have to go that route as much as it pains me. The bad is that I can probably finish this game in. Um, three turns? Probably in three turns. Okay, parasitic ammo is gonna be amazing. We have to pick that up one up. And I actually don't know if we can afford to... Uh, get another melting point as much as I would like to do that. I think we need more things. This kind of has to die at some point. I don't think I can afford not to overload my my nexus or command center. So I think we go extra range and some fangs on the side. Something like this. 
and we actually might need some extra speed too so that this connects faster and resolves the issue faster by the way uh, going with uh, parasitic ammo here is not the best because you don't have the melter to help with the um, killing of the fortress but we should be able to do a lot of damage with these uh, crawlers basically Yeah, they distracted for long enough for it to matter. Melting point has upgraded. And we are dealing a good amount of damage to our opponent. Alright, good. Ah, super heavy armor. Surprisingly not relevant. Foot on the mission is also not relevant. All right, so this here we definitely need the uh, range upgrade. Uh, we might need the level up, but we can't afford it this turn. What I could do is form a distraction but I don't think we can do that either question is, does my opponent have just enough resources to actually finish this game before I kill them? Because this is the last turn where I have the opportunity to actually do anything to my opponent. Past this point, we are screwed. So let's hope this works out. If it doesn't, we are absolutely done for. Parasitic ammo is doing a lot of work. The melters are doing also a lot of work. Which is nice. The, uh, the Vulcan is stuck on one of the fortresses unfortunately. Which is definitely not ideal. We might be able to kill the Nexus soon and thus divert the attention. Good. Our improved uh, melting points can actually handle the double fortress to an extent. Alright. Unfortunately, this is a dead end from here. I don't think we are surviving past this point. Uh, yeah. I could go energy absorption. The ignite would be nice, but that's not gonna help too much. Level two is necessary. Night is gonna be very helpful. 
and some extra crawlers or fangs are gonna do a lot of work to help out on the sides here and here basically all right if we don't win this turn we probably lost the game we probably lost the game <laughs> Oof, that is definitely rough. That's a lot of damage and I don't think we can handle that much. 